My roommate has been borrowing my small TV table to go eat at her room and since Christmas was just around the corner, I thought that getting her one would be the perfect gift. I'm going to show you step by step how I put together this cute little Peaky and Baby Yoda table. I go over a lot of tips in this video in order to make this project successful, so make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss a thing. My goal was to keep it as simple and as low cost as possible. I didn't have a lot of time so I bought a TV tray already made. It was already painted in a dark color which was great because I didn't have to paint it. And then I found the cutest Baby Yoda sticker online but a sticker isn't gonna hold up on its own. So in order to make this last for a long long time, I'm gonna use epoxy. Epoxy is commonly used to seal surfaces and give it a durable gloss. If you're new to working with epoxy, I want to show you my best practices. Now, in order to pour epoxy, you're going to need to prep. Most people, including me, would like to skip this step because it's boring, it takes time, but this will determine the success of this project. First, I cover everything. I put painter's plastic on the floor, then I set up my workstation using soft horses and a flat top. I cover it with wax paper because epoxy doesn't stick to it. To clean anything epoxy gets into, use alcohol. That way you can reuse it in the future. The closer to 100%, the better. I also recommend using a respirator for protection, gloves, as much ventilation as possible, and no cats in the room. No cats? Yeah, you do not want cat hair flying around when you do this. Another thing I highly recommend is building a PVC frame that is bigger than the table. You're probably looking at me weird, but I'll explain why later. This project will be easier if you take the table apart. It's a good idea to use blue painter's tape underneath. I will show you why later on this video. Oh sh I scratched the table. Okay, think fast. Sharpie. Sharpie saved the day, even though it's not even the right color. Now this table comes with a shiny coat, which is to protect the stain, but my rule of thumb is that shiny things do not stick to anything. So I'm going to sand the shiny away. For that, I'm using 220 grit sandpaper and just lightly sanding in the same direction. Remember the word lightly. You don't want to sand the color away. I sanded the color away. If I were to redo this, I will probably sand with 400 grit instead. Lightly. I didn't like the white outline, so I cut it out. By the way, I thought this was a sticker, but it's a decal, which I should have connected the dots and know that it will not stick to this table. But that's okay, I went to my box of crafty things and I found Mod Podge. I'm sure any glue would do for this purpose, but Mod Podge is easy to work with and easy to clean. I'm making sure that the edges are sealed because any gaps can cause resin to bubble. Let's talk epoxy. I like to use stone coat epoxy resin because it's easy to work with, is good quality and is heat resistant. To mix it, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I like using these cups I get from the dollar store because it has the measurements marked. I mix it for five minutes. It will look cloudy at first, but then it will turn clear with lots of bubbles. To cover the top of the table, I'm using a total of one cup. Every epoxy has different instructions, so make sure to follow them for the epoxy you're using. This epoxy has a working time of 40 minutes, which gives me plenty of time. Once I pour it, I like using a small trowel to spread it out. After pouring, you will notice all the bubbles are still visible. And if you can see the bubbles, you should hit the like button. Baby Yoda would appreciate it. <laughs> Using a small torch will take care of the bubbles. Once I torch it, I look for dust or hair that might have fallen in, and I pick them out with a toothpick. Then I torch it once again. Remember that PVC frame I mentioned earlier? 
I use this as a shield to protect the table while the resin is curing, to prevent hairs or dust getting to it. Believe me, I've ruined so many projects thanks to his hair flying around. Not my hair. Do you also remember the blue tape I showed you earlier? Now's the time to remove it. It will take care of these drips. Skipping this step will mean that the drips will permanently cure and it will be a lot harder to take them out. Make sure you don't wait too long before removing the tape, otherwise it becomes harder to take off as the resin cures. Now we have a cute peeking baby Yoda table. And if you find this video helpful, consider subscribing. I post all my fun projects so you can do them too.